this is the biggest thing we have going on in our country? Because if this is the biggest thing going on in our country, we've got a sweet, sweet life. Well, it caused the shooting in South Carolina. No, it didn't cause the shooting <laughs> so in South Carolina. you got to take that down so it we doesn't have, cause any more. We debt. have $18 trillion in debt. $18 mm-hmm. trillion. Dollars. We have the latest on Jonathan Gruber in the White House. And I'll play the audio for you in a little while. We have the press not even willing to say the president lied. Here's a, yet another lie. And nobody's willing to say the president lied. Obamacare is in collapse. Your insurance rates for your children is skyrocketing. Kids in fourth grade, they can read as well as a kindergartner. Mutual fund managers all around the world are saying, you better have cash on hand. You better have cash on hand. Our Fed has lied to us, said they would never print money. They did. And we taught the rest of the world how to print money. And now the central banks all over the world are printing money. That's not going to end well. Our wars are still going. And they're not going well. ISIS is still beheading people, throwing homosexuals off the roof, killing Christians because they won't comply. Muslims who aren't Muslim enough are enslaved. There was a new contest on the Koran with ISIS. The winners got women to be used as sex slaves. Yesterday, the parliament of Iran met. They talked about the president's uh, proposal and they rejected any any inspections of their nuke sites. Oh, and then the parliament got together and, you know, this is, I don't understand parliamentary rules, so, but they got together and they chanted death to America. But we're still going forward on a, on a pact with Iran. Baltimore is still on fire and hasn't been solved. Ferguson is still on fire and hasn't been solved. Debt for student loans is higher than ever. People don't even know how they're going to pay these debts off. Jihad, the threat against jihad. Our government came out and told us it is the highest threat level we've ever had. And we're talking about the Confederate flag? Are are you kidding me? This is the biggest thing we've got? The Confederate flag is the thing that America's got to stop and talk about and solve right now. We have, we have, we are living in an Alice in Wonderland world. We have stepped through the looking glass and we are having tea parties with the mad frickin' hatter. Don't say the N word, whatever you do. Yet Cornell West can say the N-word on television, and nobody seems to care. The network doesn't come out. They don't apologize. They don't say, oh my gosh, we're so sorry we apologize for him using that word. We're still concerned that Sarah Palin might use the word targeting. Meanwhile, the president has a podcast, and on his podcast... He's asked a question, and he uses the N-word without hesitation. The president of the United States uses the N-word, but that's not really the big deal. I mean, after all, he was on a podcast called WTF. (laughs) I'd tell you what WTF means if you didn't know. But I'm on a federally licensed radio station, and so I can't tell you. But let's spend the day talking about the Confederate flag, because once we get that settled, everything will be fixed. When you lay it out that way, I mean, it doesn't sound <laughs> as important. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you think? Wow. What are, what are we some... doing? We're insane. We're insane. Look, I care about the Confederate flag. It's a part of history. I wish it would stay in the history books. I don't think that it is I don't think that it is something that people should fly. 
over the state, if you want to fly it because your family fought in the Confederacy and they weren't for slavery, and I know all of the, I know all of the rigmarole. I've lived in the South long enough. I know it. I know the argument. That's great. I don't think it should be flown on state property. I don't think that it is is something that should be flown there. If you do and you live in a state where they're flying it, that's for you to decide. Here's my evil libertarian plan to slowly take over the world and then leave everyone alone. Yes, Mm. I've said it out loud. (laughs) That's for you to decide. Maybe we should decide together the things that affect all of us. $18 trillion in debt. How are we going to pay for that? 